test them. So we're, we're a bunch of lizard worshipping uh, yeah. lizard people, are we? The same. The same. You're people. in a public place. Yeah. Yeah. It's my right to, to oh, film anything I like. You've you've absolutely been. Yeah. Uh, very insulting because to us. Very insulting. Why? You, you invoke science, but you have no. We're trying to help method. people. I've just explained to you that the Carnacom Institute has all the analysis, all your, the links are there for you to are, look at. Where, where, where are your links or your publicity for or your articles? Well, if you go to the... Peer-reviewed, quite scientific periodicals. Well, we're not authorised. The people who actually study what's coming down, the people who actually study what's coming down are not authorised. Of course not. So no, no sort of university department worth its salt could not study this and sort of have it peer-reviewed? No, they're articles. not allowed to. Of course not. Well, look up the geoengineering science. Right. They admit that they can do it. They, all the patents are out there for everybody, people to see. The Hundreds top. of patents. Everybody from the Geoengineering, top. Carnegie Institute, yeah. um, University of uh, California, uh, LA, sorry. Even the guys who, uh, even the guys with Stanford. The sort of fuel trucks who are putting this stuff in, they, they, they're, not, they're not laying on either. No. Well, apparently not. No, no. We don't know how they get it there. Perhaps the lizards transport yeah, it for so them, eh? Yeah, the eight-foot shapeshifters. Yeah. yeah, well, you mentioned it first, sir, just as Rothschild that's, that's did what, when I spoke to him. That, that's what I sort of wrap it all in with, yeah. yeah. It's funny, when I spoke to yeah. Rothschild, he said the same thing. Oh, who was that David Icke guy? Lizards, lizards, lizards. Yeah. Sir, you're yeah. pathetic, and I, you've insulted me, and I can tell you what. Oh, it's a, <laughs> a waste of effort. Well, don't insult me and stand yeah. there when I'm trying to help humanity. They're, they're far... I mean, Walk off into the sunset and, and, more, and breathe deeply, OK? They're far more sort of like green... Uh, um, environmental yeah. issues. Oh, are they? Um, oh, from the Green Party, eh? No. They're not authorised. Oh, they're authorised. They're all right. I'll use an example just now. If we're going to protest about aircraft mm. and their uses or abuses, yeah. then what about, like I say, just wandering around to your local sort of supermarket and just working out just how, that too. how, how, how much that of too, it... That too, GMO foods, yeah. How much of it required thousands of tonnes of like aircraft spirit just to get us... Yeah, a, I'm not anti-aircraft, an sir. An out-of-season vegetable. I'm not anti-aircraft. Yeah. I'm anti depopulation. We should stop buying it if it's flown in from abroad. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. Sir. Yeah. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Yeah. There is a big problem here. Yeah. Please look into it and do your own research. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. The, the only place you can do so you're not prepared the, to do that, okay? The only place you can do the research, um, because you said it's impractical to actually do it yourself or yeah. have university departments yeah. do it or get anyone interested. A military industrial complex exists in a bubble. Of course, reality was presented to us. We're on the slaves rising up now, are we? Well, we hope with enough pressure like this, the whistleblowers will come. The FBI former, te uh, former chief admitted that these death are going on. Ted Gunderson, the head of the, one of the a former head FBI chief of the I'm actually wasting time living, when living I could in, be giving yeah. leaflets to other people. Living in a granite, Please do your own living, research, living that's a, all I'm asking. Living in a granite cottage in Devon can give you cancer if it's not well ventilated enough. You know. Exactly. You can see the chemtrail here now uh, is spreading out. And just uh, that was just one plane. I mean, this may be drift, chemtrail drift that's being sprayed somewhere else and it's drifting in, but only one plane, only one plane did it, yeah. And all that is ribbed, yeah, so this, it looks like this harp being used today, too. See the, the, the ribbing there. And it's all over there, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Up there as well. Well, the town centre manager has just told me that I'm to expect a £2,000 fine for handing out leaflets without permission. A £2,000 fine for handing out leaflets without permission. I said, you know we're being sprayed with toxic chemicals and you're talking to me about rules and regulations? Oh dear, he was absolutely convinced that he was going to find me, I said, I said, sue me. He said, can I take one of those? I said, yeah, my details are on there, there you go, the free truth show, that one there.
and he's pushing a baby. He's pushing a baby under chemtrails and he's, he wants to fine me £2,000, the town centre manager. He's coming out of pharmacy in a minute. Well, yeah, town centre manager, the bookie manager for leaflets. Breaking the law. He didn't actually say I was breaking the law, but yeah. So we'll see what happens, eh? <laughs> Another one being sprayed right up there. There you go. Mm, it looks to be staying. We'll see in a minute. As uh, D. Deansy has, has pointed out, he's done a bit of a linger up there, a bit of a slight chemtrail that he's left, and then he stopped spraying, or whatever was coming out of his aircraft stopped uh, lingering, but that bit does linger and then it kind of stops again. You see, it stops again there. So we'll see, is that a stop and start? Or an atmospheric abnormality? Hi there, um, we're almost at the end now. We've got about 50 of these flyers left and about 50 of Jane Long's flyers. And um, we're in Portsmouth for Chemtrail Info Day, as you know. We've had, um, there's something up there, but it looks like a contrail. Most of it's cleared now, apart from that over there. You can just see their chemtrail sort of drift, it looks like. And um, I've just met a chap on a bicycle who's riding past. He, he, didn't, he didn't want to stop, but um, I managed to give him a leaflet. And he worked for Glaxo Smith Klein. He said, uh, Rockefeller's got nothing to do with it. He did ask some pretty pertinent, uh, inquiring questions, actually. And um, he worked for GlaxoSmithKline, uh, said that vaccines have helped a lot of people, etc. Um, I think he was genuinely interested as to why uh, the spray was going on, uh, if a little misguided, a bit misinformed. I just filled in a few gaps for him and asked him to do his own research, etc, etc, etc.